Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Grace and peace to all who watch this episode of Thunder of God today aired through the Shalom World Television Network. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The brothers and sisters, as we participate in this episode of Thunder of God, let us believe in our heart that God is going to touch you in a very special way. each and every one of you because god is a caring god and he is always there to care and bless us praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so let us sing together and praise and worship the lord a thunder of god the lightning and thunder of god may come into our lives as praise and worship the lord spirit come like a mighty wind this is both back so life again Lift us up from the stairs and land Breathe upon us and we will stand Come and go Be the sound of our wilderness Be our Savior and hope and rest All our idols are tempted to death You alone can deliver us Wind of God Speak your word and we will rise Come revive, come restore We can't live without you, Lord Come and blow Come and blow Wind of God Wind of God Stir our hearts, breath of life Speak your word and we will rise Come revive, come restore We can't live without you, Lord Come and go Let's close our eyes. Let's feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Spirit, once again we thank you for bringing us together. Our Holy Spirit, you live inside of us. And when we go astray, when we do sins, you are very, very sad. And today, as we are here, we pray to you, Holy Spirit. come and touch us take away all our unclean uncleanliness from us make us clean once again we ask you holy spirit jesus said through the word i have spoken to you have been cleansed through the word i have spoken to you you have been cleansed yes as we hear the word of god let us be cleansed by the power of the holy spirit and by the word of god mother mary we pray for your strong intercession you are the one who are filled with the holy spirit 
and today we ask for the same spirit so that we may be moved by the spirit so that we may be able to live up the word of god in our lives let's invoke mother mary's intercession as we recite together hail mary full, full of grace, grace the lord, lord is with thee, thee. Blessed are you thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many people, when they come for prayer, they have a grief in their hearts. The grief is this, that they feel that God doesn't answer to their prayers. The book of Psalms, chapter 77, verse 10, the word of God says in this way, And I say, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. The, my grief is that the right hand of the Almighty has been changed. In other ways, what the person says is that this, that I just cannot feel the presence of God in my life. God doesn't answer to my prayers. And today, when we look around, there are so many people who are really depressed and distressed because they say that God doesn't answer to our prayers. Why God doesn't answer to our prayers? This is the question that is in the hearts of very many people today. And what is the answer for this question? My dear brothers and sisters, if you look into the Bible, the word of God has promised or the Lord has promised us one thing that in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 the word of God says that God is able to give whatever we need in his mercy in Christ Jesus. Let's read it. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is a, 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 the richest God and therefore he is able to give to us whatever we need through Jesus Christ. And this is the promise to each and every one of us. If then, why God doesn't answer to our prayers? This is the question to be pondered upon. Again, what we see is this. Though the Lord wants to give his treasures or his blessings to the people, unless and until we become or we are ready to receive the blessings, the blessings will not come to us. Just like a flowing river, it is blocked by a dam, the blessings that comes to each person might be blocked by different reasons. And once the blocks are removed, really the person is going to receive graces upon graces and blessings upon blessings. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. This is what we see in the Bible. Dear friends, today the blocks that comes to the individual or the blocks that come to the family from receiving the blessing from God is nothing but their own sins or their own iniquities. We see when the sins are removed, when the blocks are removed, people are blessed with God's graces and so many God's blessings. If we look into the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 9, verse 31, clearly the Word of God says, God doesn't hear the prayers of the sinner. We know that God does not listen to sinners. We know that God does not listen to sinners. But if one is devout and does his will, he listens to him. So if one is devout, and he does the will of God, he listens. So this is only a block in the life of an individual that is sins that pro uh, prohibits or uh, prevents him from receiving the blessings. 
Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 14 and 15, very clearly states the very same thing once again. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. The word of God says, you are, you are all celebrations. You are fasting and feasting. I hate them. I don't want to listen to your prayers because I cannot answer to your prayers. Your hands are full of blood, the stains of blood. Which means, if you are in your life, you are filled with so many types of sinful situations and sins. God is saying, whatever you do, you may do a lot of fasting and feasting. God is not going to open the door of graces to you. Because he said, I just cannot tolerate. Hallelujah. The very same thing again repeated in the book of Isaiah, same chapter 59, verse 2 and 3. Rather, it is your crimes that separate you from your God. Rather, it is your crime that separates you from God. Your sins and your transgressions have, are separating you from God. Again, the following sentence, please. It is your sins that make him hide his face so yeah. that he will not hear you. Yes. There is, has been a big block between you and your God. And your faith, the God's face is blocked by this great wall. And this wall is called the wall of sin. And because of this reason, you are unable to see God and you are unable to receive the graces and blessings from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, when you come to the New Testament, chapter uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, uh, clearly once again says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears turn to their prayers. And his ears turn to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against evil doers. But the face of the Lord is again closed before the prayers of the sinful person. Hallelujah. So, dear friends, the book of Joshua, chapter 3 to verse 3, chapter 3, verse 5 says, Sanctify yourself. You sanctify yourself, and tomorrow God is going to do a wonderful deed among you. And that is what we all need to learn from the Bible. If we are deprived of God's blessings, dear friends, let us look into ourselves and find if there is something to be cleansed or something to be sanctified. And if once I know many people when they come to uh, come for prayer, when, once they are realized of their sinful situations and when they are ready to quit this situation, they are always blessed. I remember once a person came to me. He came to me for a, with a special intention. He told me, Father, I, am a, I was a manager of a big company which was running, uh, which was run by, owned by himself. And he was just telling me, I had 75 staff working in my company. And the company was growing, fast growing. And I just don't know, since the last a few years, it is just going down and down. And he says, now I have lost everything. I have lost everything. I'm in utter bankruptcy. And would you please pray for me? And he wants to know if someone has done some black magic on him, on, on his company. And that is what he wants to know. Okay, I said, I'll pray for you. And I was just praying for this man. And dear friends, I asked him a question which was given to me by the Holy Spirit. I asked, are you Catholic? He said, yes, I am a Catholic, a Christian. I asked, are you practicing Catholic? Then the answer was no. I said, why? He says, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe in church. I don't believe in sacraments. I, I know how to pray. I pray to my God. I don't go to the church. I don't go for confession. I don't go for Holy Eucharist, but I have a good relation with God. I said, this is your problem. This is your problem. You say, I know God, but you don't practice what God teaches you. God has said so many things in the Bible, 
so that we may become blessed and we simply ignore them with our own practical reasons and we say that everything is fine since when i asked him he said he made his last confession 17 years back he has never gone to the church he has gone to the church once for his the marriage of his uh, daughter that's all not even on sundays or even feast days christmas he never go but he says i am a catholic and i told him this is your ruin and no don't go searching for the reasons anywhere the reason is in in you in your family there is no family prayer and there is no family get together for prayer they don't go to the church because they are always their mind is always on high things except on god hallelujah i told him go for a retreat make a complete thorough check up of yourself and see how is your soul is and what is the situation of your life and make an amendment are ready to say lord i am sorry i am a sinner please accept me and our god is ever ready to accept and embrace you i told him to do these things and my dear friends it really happened this man uh, went for a retreat he went and he confessed and he was convinced of his problems and his sins and he became a practicing catholic within 3 months he got an opportunity to go abroad and he was now working in uh, working in abroad with high salary hallelujah his all the debts are slowly god is just reducing and it is going to be uh, okay within a few days hallelujah hallelujah so my dear friends god wants us to cleanse and sanctify ourselves in the book of judith if we come to the chapter 5th uh, chapter we see an incident there there holofernes the general of the assyrian army makes a big banquet for the princes and the kings nearby and while the banquet was going on holofernes asked a few questions to the princes the questions are like this why the israelites are always victorious why can't we defeat them what are the reasons why they are always uh, strong what are, what is the strength that is in them and who is leading their army and these are the questions that came out from holofernes because holofernes knew whenever he went to attack or when whenever he had a fight with israelites he could never be successful and he wanted to know the reason for this failure and many people said different reasons and there was a man called uh, akior in the verse 8 of chapter 5 would you please read that as long as the israelites did not sin in the sight of their god they prospered yeah the answer is this as long as this group or this israelites they were with god and they will be prospering they came to know about a god and their god is a, a great god as long as they are with them and they can never be defeated you know in the verse 17 he gives another reason for that for their god who hates wickedness was with them because the god with whom they had Uh, come into contact the, the, this god has a speciality this god is a god who loves sinner but hates sins and therefore as long as the israelites do not commit any sin they cannot be defeated at all and finally akior gives the an uh, solution for that in the verse 20 he gives a solution to defeat them that's read like this so now my lord and master so now my lord and master If these people are at fault and oh. are sinning against their God and if we verify this offense of theirs then we shall be able to go up and conquer them So he is telling to the master master they say if they can be de- they want you want to them to be defeated just do one thing ask them to do some kind of sins or make them force them to do some kinds of sins and when they commit sin automatically the god will go away from them and they can be defeated and because of this reason israelites were prompted or they were forced to commit both two sins 
first the command sin against first commandment and sin against sixth commandment and thus israelites were destroyed slowly and slowly hallelujah hallelujah my dear friends today a catholic a christian can be stopped only by his own sin, sins and his own iniquities so therefore the word of god is telling to each and every one of us you can be blessed once again once you repent and you get away all the sinful tendencies in you in the letter to ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 the word of god says in this way you have to renew yourself you have to come out of all your bondages that you should put away the old self of your former way of life corrupted through deceitful desires and be renewed in the spirit of your minds and put on the new self created in god's way in righteousness and holiness of truth hallelujah the word of god says you have to put away your old self you have to become sanctified and you may become a new creation then really the god is going to answer your prayers hallelujah hallelujah let's stand up if possible O oh Lord, today, as we are here, we feel your presence. We admit and admire that you are the only true God. Only through you, we can be redeemed. If we are not blessed, the reason is just because we have not sanctified ourselves. There are certain things which prohibits or which stops us. from receiving the blessings from you oh lord we are ready we are ready to make changes in our life we want to be get transformed in our lives so that we may be able to receive the blessings in abundance for this we pray let us praise and worship the lord hallelujah hallelujah lord we praise you and thank you and glorify you for the wonderful time you have given to us lord you are the master you are the redeemer you are the only savior Lord help us to come out and to sanctify ourselves so that we may become rich in the spirit amen praise the lord accept the kingship of god hallelujah. and he is our ruler and king let us praise and worship the lord hallelujah hallelujah god we thank you and praise you and worship you you are the real ruler of our life you are the master of the universe you can change our lives hallelujah 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 dear friends 
today when we complain that God doesn't intervene in our lives let us make an introspection of ourselves is there anything that prevent Jesus to give his blessings in me maybe my own sins the word of god clearly says god does not hear the praise of the sinner lord often i do justify myself saying it's okay it's fine how can we live without doing not even a single small sin i always neglect the in purity that is in me today i ask the lord lord give me courage and strength to remove the stains from my heart i want to be more sanctified i want to be more purified so that i can get the blessings from you lord to inherit the kingdom life after is my goal dear friends let us ask the lord let all the sinful tendencies be gone in jesus name ask the lord to sanctify us with his precious blood a lord just a drop of blood is enough for me to cleanse myself lord send your spirit and sanctify me let's pray to the lord sanctify me oh god cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole oh lord sanctify me sanctify me oh god oh lord cleanse my body jesus mind and soul pure Lord I surrender myself totally and fully to you it is just through you I can have the redemption a oh lord today when i complain that god doesn't intervene in my life i know there are so many blocks in my life i have neglected many of my small sins thinking it's okay fine lord give me the blessings to shed even not even the single sins that prevents me to come to you lord hallelujah a oh lord today as we are here as you give the blessings all those who touch you and all those who have been touched by you were healed and they were purified today i ask for the blessing lord let your anointing hand be on me and let my heart stain be gone in jesus name all dear friends today as is god god is going to bless you as is going to extend his right hand on each and every one of you let us ask the lord to bless and purify hallelujah 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 let's praise and thank the lord god is going to hear touch and heal you hallelujah hallelujah lord we praise you sanctify lord help me lord hallelujah 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 looking up to heaven there is louder a loud voice let's praise the lord hallelujah all the sinful tendency be broken down in jesus name let the hallelujah 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 oh sacrament most holy oh sacrament divine oh praise and all thanks be sing together everybody oh sacrament most holy